Yo, Elliot, I love my girlfriend very much, and I plan on starting a family with her one day. That means I should have reliable income. My goal is six figures. My question is, what is your decision process when determining if your time and energy should go into your business or into your family life? And so this brings me to a book that I've been recently reading called The Case for Patriarchy. And in it, he at, towards the end of the book, there's a chapter on what a household patriarchy would look like. And so essentially, a husband ruled, father ruled, uh, led home, right? Patriarchy literally, literally means father's rule. Anyway, it's an incredible book. And he talks about family life in it. And he asserts um, that prior to this sort of new idea that your career defines you, right? Uh, people were defined by their true vocation, which he says is family. Family, if you're a father, that's your true vocation. You're a husband, that's your true vacation. If you're a wife or you're a mother, that's your number one vocation. If you're not a family person, then your number one vocation is the voice of God. This is where the word vocation comes from. The word vocation comes from uh, uh, voice, right? How can, how can I say it? Vocal, vocate, your, your calling, right? And so you know your calling by watching your life. And if you watch your life and you understand that it's unfolding in a, in a way that's going to put me in a place where I'm going to be a family man someday, then that becomes your primary focus in terms of value, right? What you value most in life will be your family, not your work. The idea that our work is what we value most is a newfangled idea. It's a new idea. Uh, I might even say it's an American idea. I'm not so sure. But it's, it's sort of an American idea to consider that uh, the work that I do, I'm personally identified with, the family that I have is a burden, is something that I drag along with it, right? This is the way feminists have, uh, have portrayed family, such that women have abandoned families and now pursue careers, thinking that that's what's going to fulfill them. The career is going to fulfill me. Uh, family is just a burden. And I know you're not saying that, but this is sort of a, a pervasive mindset that has uh, enveloped our culture, where it's everything's about money and, uh, and my personal identification with the work that I do. Family then becomes secondary or arbitrary. And so I agree with him in the, in the fact or in his assertion, and you know he's pointing to facts of the past, that we'll be better served and patriarchy is most, most well fulfilled in a home where career and family are rightly ordered. Now, that being said, you do have to work. You do have to work, you do have to, it is your responsibility as a patriarch of your family to fulfill your obligation of providing and protecting. There's no question about it, you must do it. Uh, if you're going to marry a woman, if you're going to have a child, that's not, it's never her responsibility. It's yours. Her responsibility is to take care of the children, to be at home and to be a wife and to, and to really be the, the heart of the family. That's what a woman is, right? She doesn't have to be the hands of the family, like the man that has to go out there who's cursed to have to work. So it's our responsibility. It's our obligation. And it's their right to have us go out there and work. But it's a means to an end. And I know this is even... You know, this is something I've had to wrestle with, too, because I grew up in the same culture that you guys have. And I've even promoted the idea that, you know, uh, the whole non-job idea was, you know, live your passion. I no longer, I, let me put it this way. I grew out of that. I sort of grew out of that. I, I thought that was appropriate because that's what I was taught. And it's very pleasing to the world. But it's taken me some time. I was reflecting on this the other day, but it was probably about 2017 when my father-in-law died that I really started to take on the mantle of husband and father in my life. It's the first time I really began to know the weight and responsibility of raising a family. And I started to realize that I had been fooling myself into believing that my self-worth was found in career, right? Oh, look at all these people who love me on YouTube. Look at that. And I remember even that that preceding even the money that I made, right? Because it was a pride thing. It was like, look at me, I'm helping all these people. But then I would see my family as an addition to that. It was my pride in career, my pride in worldly vocation that carried my ego and the family was secondary. And all that has sort of shifted 
maybe about five or six years ago. So I just want to speak to you guys, you guys from my perspective. So your question is, what is your decision process of turning your time and energy going into your business and family life? I'm going to give you this advice. It was the best advice that I was ever given. I got this advice very early on. I understood it from a different, in a different way, right? M meaning that, like I said, I've sort of grown up, but the, the advice applies all the same. You decide on the life you want to live first, right? You're going to be a husband. You're going to be a father. You decide what that looks like, right? You decide, for me, it look, at this point, it looks like I'm with my family all the time. I'm, I'm here all day. Um, there's some drawbacks too, <laughs> but that's a different story. But I decided that. I decided I wanted to be a present father. I wanted to be here. And so the business is designed around that. You going into, uh, you know, going into family already having a business, you want to start thinking in terms of what do I want for my family? What kind of family life do I want? You know, I assert that it's best for mothers to stay home, but that may not be your choice, it may not be uh, what she wants, right? And I'm not trying to talk anybody out of it, but then that's going to add, that's going to throw a little bit of a different spin on the decisions that you make about your family. So you, in other words, you just need to look at the details of your situation, you need to look at the details of your family, and then you got to think about your vision for what you want. And then your business is designed around that business supports your life. This is important. This is one of those things that we should probably pause the video and write down. Business and work, career are designed to support your family or designed to support your lifestyle. In other words, they're a means to an end. They're not the end in itself. And I just wanna make that clear because we have been fed a, a, a load of bull when it comes to fulfillment in life. And that means uh, turning away from, rejecting, not having families any longer, destroying families, breaking families, all these things against the family. And a part of the weaponry against the family has been this idea that we get our value from the work that we do. And I don't want that to happen. So long story short, uh, I think that it's admirable that you're wanting a family. I think it's admirable that you wanna be able to provide a reliable income. Um, I wouldn't get too caught up in that, right? From my own experience. And then of course, from you know my study and also watching you guys, don't wait until it's perfect for you to start a family. I started a family, $90,000 in debt. I'm not saying that you need to do that, but I started a family and we built together. And I think there's, there's, a, there's a sense of unity between my wife and I. There's a sense of knowing between my wife and I, a sense of respect that she has for me that I don't think would be available had she not been building with me. In fact, there's a, there's a level of love that I don't think I could have for her had she not built with me, if she was an addition to my life. And of course, oftentimes I'll tell you guys, build your life, make your woman an addition. But if you already know who, you're, who you plan to marry, you already know that she's going to be your wife and, and the mother of your children, then I say that I, I really believe that there's no reason to linger and to wait too long, right? Um, if there's no prospects, I say, don't look for any prospects. I say, build yourself up, make yourself uh, a frame as a man and build your, build your life and then bring your woman in. But you, you seem to have a woman coming alongside you. I don't know if you've spoken with her about it yet, but uh, you are wanting to have a family with her. She wants to have children. I think that would be something that you need to discuss. But at the same time, I wouldn't, I, I don't think courting, right? And this is the term that I'm going to be using for now instead of dating, uh, even though if you're not really doing it, but uh, I'm going to sit, use the word because I'm edging that way in terms of what I expect from people and what I think is best for people. But if you're courting, a courtship shouldn't last longer than a year. Courtship shouldn't last longer than a year. How long does it take for you to realize whether or not somebody is worthy of being the mother of your children? I know guys say, you know, wait three years, five years, but all that does is, is put you into the land of make-believe and strings things out in such a way that, how can I say this? If you wait too long, you're, it, I don't know. It's just not a good idea. I don't like it. That's basically it. If I can I give you a rational reason, I don't know. 
I just don't like it. So anyway, I would say don't wait until everything's perfect. I know that we do that a lot of times with a lot of things on it. Wait till everything's perfect. I would invite you not to wait till everything's perfect, but get the ball rolling. And I think also the momentum that's created by taking on responsibility uh, will help your business. I know it helped mine. I don't think I could be half as, I don't think I would have been half as ambitious as I was in my early career had I not had a family to feed. And so it aided in my ability to succeed, right? If, if that makes any sense. So determine what kind of family you want, how many children you want, or you know, where you want to live or how you want to live, whatever those things are. Determine all those things first and then see how you can build your business around that to support that. Remember, work is a means to an end. It's not an end in itself. No matter what I used to say or the world and Disney World, uh, tries to make you believe family is first vocation is first the voice of God is first and where he leads you in your life everything else is designed to support that done yo it's your bro Elliot I hope you enjoyed that video if you did you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students where among other things we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness business and with women that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.